everybody, my name is Professor Sabon Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we will be looking at waves. Well, waves are just disturbances. They carry energy. Not mass, just energy. Alright, now there are three types of waves. So what are our three types of waves? Well, let's draw a tree diagram-esque thing, and then we'll get to what are waves. All right, so three kinds of waves, right? One, two, three. Now the first kind of wave we will get into is the mechanical wave. Now mechanical waves are waves that need a medium. Now what is a medium? Well, a medium is really just a substance that can carry our wave. Think of it as like as the core of a wave. Think of it as a wave car. Some examples include air, water, glass, and other substances. Now, mechanical waves have two types. Transversal and longitudinal. Longitudinal. Now, let's look at transversal waves, first of all. What are transversal waves? Transversal waves are waves where particles oscillate perpendicular to this disturbance that was made. So, most transversal waves look like this. This is what's called a sinusoidal wave because it looks nearly alike to sign data. So, this is what you can call a crest. It's like a peak. Think of it like a toothpaste. And since you do peak after you brush with toothpaste, then a crest is toothpaste. You see? Now, think of this is the 45th president of the United States. It's a trough. Americanos can remember this by saying Trump, but whatever. So the crest is the peak, and the trough, gotta refrain from saying Trump, is our, like, low point, or our value. Right. So, what in one wavelength now? What is a cycle? Let's say we draw a circle. We start here, we go all the way around, and we end at the same point. Now, how many cycles are there? Can you tell me? It's one. There's only a single one because you go around what? And so, the wavelength, or basically just the length of a cycle, is really this one cycle. Length of our cycle is one wavelength one length of a cycle. So now, if we want to round this hypothetically twice, it would be two lambda, then three lambda, and so on. So, now, let's erase this. Now, knowing what a cycle is, can you tell me what one cycle is here? Of course, it's one crest and one trough. You end back at zero after one cycle. So imagine that it has one peak and one valley. Imagine it like that. And the length of this hypothetical line from one to here would be lambda. That's what we can say for transversal. But what about longitudinal wave? Well, Longitudinal waves are a bit different. They're where our disturbance is parallel to how the particles oscillate. So, some examples include sand. So, we have that, and then we have a part where it's spread out. Let's imagine we have a slinky. And now, since I'm lazy, and for the sake of time, we're just going to 
copy and paste. Right. So, this is condensation, where all these circles, the little things in the slinky, they get closer together, they condense. So this is condensation or compression. And then you have this. That's called rarefaction. Where it just spreads out, it expands. They get further away. Now, if we can say that this is A and this is C, we can say this is B, this is D, then we can say the distance from A to C would be the same as the distance from B to D. Those two would be equal. So you see this line and this line would be equal. This distance, you see, that's a wavelength. Let's examine the next type of wave.